Hello, my name is Rachel Anruh and I am the marketing coordinator for the Sternberg Museum of Natural History and this is A New Way to the Museum. I'm going to be your host today. I'm going to take you guys out of the museum and into the field as we study some small mammals today. So I interviewed Dr. Patrick and her students as they collected small mammals for a couple, for over a period of a couple days and they just wanted to know how the population recovered after a fire that happened there over a year ago. It was really exciting and really interesting and I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Before we get into it, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel because it helps our channel to grow and to continue to bring more videos like this to you. Okay, let's get out in the field. Hi, so I'm Dr. Lorelai Patrick. I am an assistant professor at Fort Hayes State University in the Department of Biological Sciences, and I'm also the associate curator of mammals at the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. So today, my students and I were setting up uh, Sherman live traps in two transects. So we are trying to trap some small mammals. Um, it's been about a year since I've been out here uh, at this particular location trapping um, and in the year that has passed uh, since I've been trapping last a fire has come through and so I've not done any work out here since uh, since the fire um, burned through back in December. So now we've seen lots of new growth, uh, well it's fall so they're, <laughs> it's kind of dead now, um, but uh, between December of 2021 and about June of 2022 this looked like a moonscape so uh, the fire had burned out all of the vegetation. So what re-sprouted, eventually re-sprouted uh, once we got enough rain in the spring. And so all of this growth is just within this past growing season. Um, so we're hoping we'll get some mammals. Uh, if mammals survive the winter here, um, so if they had enough uh, food kind of cached away, uh, hopefully they survived uh, the winter and we will likely catch a lot of juveniles. Um, uh, so if they, there's a lot of seeds out now, so hopefully the, the adults we're able to reproduce a lot and get a, bu a bunch of juveniles out now. Yeah, these are Sherman traps. You just kind of open them up. They have two different sides. Um, you push one of them down and there is a hook inside of there. And what we like to do is just take one of our little bait balls and stick it in the top back here add a little bit of cotton inside to keep the animals warm when it gets cold at night and then we just set it down. So, and once the animal crawls in they try to get the bait, it'll close and snap shut just like that and then you'll have a little guy inside there for you. So other than surveying the land and counting the mammal population, what other data are you hoping to collect? Uh, so just uh, kind of get an idea of uh, what species are out here, um, which species are usually using which habitats, um, reproductive status, uh, whether they're adults or juveniles, and likely we will collect a few specimens that will end up being put in the uh, uh, collections at the Sternberg. When it comes to collecting the small mammals, why is it important to be selective? Well, so... Uh, Especially if you're at a place where you come pretty often and we come out here uh, a couple times a year or depending on uh, the season and the year, um, we don't want to decimate the populations. So uh, we'll take a few, uh, collect a few that we um, kind of after, usually an adult male and an adult female. And I don't prefer to collect reproductively active animals. And so when we catch them alive in the trap, we can make the decision when we check the traps if we're going to keep them as a specimen or let them go. So yeah, uh, why would we trap? Um, so small mammals uh, serve an important role in ecosystems. Uh, they do a lot of seed dispersal, um, fungal spore dispersal. Uh, they feed a lot of uh, the uh, organisms that are higher up in the food web, so things like coyotes and foxes and hawks and owls. 
stuff like that. So getting an idea of uh, the mammal populations, the small mammal populations, helps us uh, better understand uh, the ecosystems that they're living in and uh, kind of uh, serves as the, the middle uh, part of that food web. Uh, so the students that I have out with me are in my mammalogy class, so this field trip wasn't required but recommended. Um, so this is our fourth field trip uh, th uh, this season in this class. So uh, a lot of students in our program want to uh, go on to do jobs in conservation, wildlife, uh, be game managers, that kind of thing. So. In order to be successful in those jobs, they need to know how to identify mammals and how to handle them, uh, which is pretty important. So we can handle or take care of a lot of the identification part in the lab, um, at least to a certain extent, but the live animals that we catch are, uh, you know, they look different than what's preserved, at least to a certain extent. Um, so uh, getting the skills at handling animals safely is really important for a lot of jobs. So. Um, the students uh, who are coming out and learning how to handle mammals uh, to have just that many more skills that they can use in their future jobs. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun uh, coming out and uh, doing work in rural Kansas. So um, this uh, is a great size university. Uh, Fort Hayes is for being able to take students out in the field. We've got a variety of field sites that we can go to just 20, up to 20 minutes out of town. Um, and it's great to be able to take students out here and give them these kinds of hands-on experiences that uh, more urban campuses or larger schools are often not able to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting out in the field today and learning all about small mammal trapping. Again, thank you so much for joining us for A New Way to Museum. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye! Thanks for joining us in A New Way to Museum with the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications when we release a new video. Support us on Patreon for early access and exclusive content. You can also follow us on all our social media. Links are found in the description. Thanks for watching, and follow your curiosity to new discoveries.